Hey everybody, what's going on? Nathan343 here, and of course, the Orange Cat. And as you can see by here, we have something for Rockville, so stay tuned. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna cut this cat in half and put her back together. No, I'm absolutely kidding. Uh, I know a friend that can do that, but not me. Okay, she wants to see what's in the box. I'm surprised Elsa's not over here. You gonna help? Ooh. I said this one's got a string. You and Elsa can play in this enormous box. And I need them. Oh, it's a box inside a box. <laughs> so, you can have it. Have the Rockville HTS 56 home theater system. We're gonna check this out. We're gonna be getting some stuff from Rockville and doing a uh, review on that. Uh, I'll have to do in. Of course, all the specs and everything will be located down. Oh yeah, a thousand blocks. Look out, neighbors. <laughs> Hopefully I can get this video done because I've got to actually take off around three o'clock. We've got an hour. <laughs> Should be good. All right, now these speakers actually light up. So we've got left, right, back, front, and a subwoofer. Oh, this whole piece coming up. Oh, I'm probably too far back. Yeah, so we got that's the center speaker. These are the two other speakers. These are pretty nice dang speakers. You get, uh, can't see it, but you get a uh, book. You get uh, cabling. You get stuff to mount the speakers to the wall. And then you get this big guy, which is the powerhouse. Ooh, looks like we get another remote. So this is the powerhouse. The reason why I got a new one, my other one got stolen. That theater system I had from, this is the powerhouse. The cool part is, uh, we haven't got any yet, but I've got some, I need to order, probably won't be here till next week. You can plug in microphones to this and use this as a karaoke machine. Uh, so yeah, it's got, uh, USB hookup so you can plug stuff in to play music off of. This has lights on it. Has a plug in so you can power it up. Um, ever put the twist tie on this? Didn't do a very good job though. But uh, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this. Uh, this is the first product I have other than the speakers I have in my truck uh, from Rockville. I have speakers in my truck and I love them. They absolutely sound really good. This has a subwoofer on the side. Um, and this new one also has the optical audio input, which we got an optical cable the other day. We're going to hook that up. We're going to hook all this up. And yeah, this is pretty cool. So I'm going to have to put this on this. Let me uh, see if I can get this figured out with the speakers and get some stuff wired up and uh, figured out and figured out where my mount them yeah it's kind of a mess in here everyone say hello to jessica you all wonder what was going on with her well she's right there she's all right guys moment of truth we got her all hooked up uh i will kind of go through a little hookup video here it's basically the at the end of the plug that come with the, the speakers the green wire goes into your led 
hookup because these have LEDs. And the black wire is your audio. Got a little fight going on over here if y'all want to watch the kitty fight. That's what my cats do with the box that stuff comes in. Elsa, what are you doing? Are you king of the box? Oh, she's, she's getting mad. <laughs> That's Lily, but anyway, back to this. We're going to fire it up for the first time. I've seen the lights flicker. All right. One deal here. We're gonna figure it out. Now these lights stay stationary. You can't see the other one that's over there. These will stay blue, which is really cool. These here will blink. There's a way to change them. We are in optical mode. Uh, so then we've got 2.14, or there's the 5.1 surround sound. In 2.4, uh, your uh, only front three speakers, I think, will have audio in them. But if you're in the uh, 5.1, yeah, then your sound, this thing goes all the way up to 60 on the volume. So I'm going to ask my lovely assistant. I'm going to leave this at 10. This also is Bluetooth. You have to figure out the, the Bluetooth stuff. I think you can scroll. Yeah, there's that. Here's the radio. That's USB. We'll have to probably, the controller probably has more settings. I have to go get batteries to fit it. I think that's Bluetooth. So we could Bluetooth music to it right now. What was that? I think the light just flickered. Uh oh, we got some high wattage power. And then we're back to the optical, which we're going to leave it on there. We're going to turn it on so that you can see how the TV sounds through the optical. Uh, point of view of this. Now the, it's only going to be coming through that, I think. So we're going to go ahead and back up. We're going to back this out. Oh yeah, sounds good. Yep, it's picking it up. We're going to and turn the TV volume down completely. And then I want you to see that there. TV volume is going down. We're going to crank. We're going to put this in the HD channel because the HD signal from that. I'll also probably put a little music on from YouTube. We're going to crank it up. Who keeps what and who ends up going for the big deal of the day? Right now, who wants to make a deal? So I'm playing this song. This is the no copyright. As you can see, the blue that does change colors. Uh, the remote that comes with it is right here. So it does have uh, your microphone settings, which we'll have to get one with a quarter inch hookup. LED light has a button, but I don't have. I've got to get what do you call it? It's right there to change the light on the speaker. But I don't have. Uh, you got your input, your move, your power button. Your tunage, your tone, the channeler, audio, all that good stuff. So this is just kind of a rough estimate hookup. I've still got to mount speakers, and uh, that's it. Like 25, I think I have it set on, and it sounds really good. I will play a movie tonight, something that has a lot of action. We're also going to be setting up our Christmas tree tonight, so probably another video time lapse of that. Uh, not 100% sure if I'm doing that or not, but uh, I've got some other stuff that's going to be, uh, there's a bunch of videos going to be happening this weekend, uh, so you're going to want to, this weekend and first next week. But again, this is the Rockville HTS56 home theater system. This is a 1,000 watt system. 
So we'll also have to show you what the lighting looks like in here at night because it has LED lighting. I have the speakers behind me, but uh, haven't been able to uh, get them hung up yet. So I'll get. All right, guys. Well, it is nighttime. We got the Christmas lights going on the porch. And we got the lights mounted, or the speakers mounted. We got a movie going on here, that uh, Christmas movie. Girlfriend, fiance, whatever you call her, is watching. These lights are very cool, and these actually mounted real easy. Real easy. I was actually able to use a couple of the old speaker mounts I had from my other speaker set that didn't actually get stolen to mount these to the back. We got that, the, the sub's on a different kind of a lighting changing thing. Uh, that, that actually lights up more as the music's there. We got that one. I haven't decided if I'm going to mount that to the wall or just leave it right there. I kind of like it right there. Probably have to center it a little bit better. I am planning on getting a bigger TV. This is a 55. I plan on getting a 4K 65 or maybe 70 inch TV. I think I can get a 65 on the um, mount that I have on here. I think it'll hold up to a 65. I think that would look a little better. Um, I, I do want to redo my, I want to make this a little taller. I'm going to rebuild my, uh, thing here eventually, but yeah. So we got these, we mounted these on the back with the, uh, speaker mounts that, uh, were, um, here before that I got for the other speakers. They did not steal those, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as you can see, they mounted up back there with a little screw and nut. Just fine and they are uh, they do sound really good that's one thing I do want to say about this Rockville speaker set is the sound quality uh, these sound really awesome uh, the subwoofer I actually will probably uh, end up sometime during the day I'll crank it and let you guys hear it but it uh, sounds really good the other a little bit ago when I had the music going I didn't have the sub all the way turned up to its highest setting. Uh, each one of these speakers, you can control um, the setting uh, and it goes by twos, so two, four, six, eight, and then there's a minus. So if you want it to be less, it's like zero, negative zero, negative two, negative four, and so on. So um, you can control each and everything. Um, the controller has a lot of settings. Um, sorry, my plate from dinner is sitting there. But, um, the microphone stuff I haven't quite figured out yet, but I haven't got microphones, but I'm going to be getting some. Uh, these here uh, control your speakers. Uh, channel, I haven't quite figured out the radio station stuff yet. I've got to hook the cable up and see how it sounds. But again, I won't be able to play that probably because of copyright issues. I don't want to have any problem there. Uh, the center is these two buttons. This controls the up and down of the center. Uh, this thing here, if it'll focus, this is your subwoofer power. Which is in mute, so it won't do anything. This is the main volume. Uh, your LED lights. I can show you here. Of course, with it in mute, it won't do anything, so. We're going to turn it down. Let me zoom in here a little bit so you can see what it's showing. Right, so there's what it does with your your sound. Okay, and then you get your, your LED lights. These are some different modes that you have. I'll do all that. It'll do that. It'll stay solid red and then go to blue, then to green, and then to like light violet and then dark purple. And back to blue. Then you have off. And then you have the normal where it'll just stay blue. And then you'll have that where it changes. And what I had it on. So there's a couple different settings on there. You have a sleep. Like again, you have your, your different, um, what do you call it? Your different, um, your 5.1 and your 2.1 surround. It's on 5.1 right now. And if you turn the power off, it just does that and goes into like standby mode. Shuts all the speakers off. You turn the power back on. Speakers 
sub, everything comes back to life. So, again, really awesome stuff there. Uh, I did find out the Bluetooth does work. Uh, it does work for YouTube, it works for music, it works for everything. Sounds good again there. Um, let me see if I can get the stereo part figured out and I'll let you know what I think about it. All right, guys. Well, this is part one, basically, of the review. I will have uh, to get some microphones and we will see how it does with karaoke. And I'll do a separate video on that and probably sometime next week. I'll probably get on Amazon and order me some. I don't think they're very expensive. I just got to get quarter inch hookups. But anyway, guys, um, I give this product a five out of five. Um, really good. Definitely worth the money. Um, very easy to hook up. Sounds really good. Uh, you could use this in a bigger room. Uh, you could use this for a theater. Like if you have a theater in your basement or something, this would work perfect for that. Uh, Bluetooth works really good. Uh, Bluetooth signal. Uh, the, the FM radio does work. Sounds really good. Um, everything works as it should. Um, and it, it definitely is a thousand watts. It's, uh, it's pretty loud. When you get everything set how it should be and the sub turned up and the speakers turned up to where they need to be, yeah, it's, it's pretty loud. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, the speakers in the back, they're a little bit smaller than the ones in the front. They're about half the size of the ones in the front. But these have, I think, two speakers in them. They're just closer together and also has some tweeters in there. And those have two speakers in them along with tweeters on top and tweeters on bottom. Same thing with uh, the side one, which I didn't mount. But I've got some cables to clean up and get uh, the ones going down the side. And that's another thing I wanted to tell you. This cable is not cheap cable. This is pretty darn good cable. Uh, it's thick. Uh, it definitely will hold a good load of uh, signal. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, smash the like button. Get subscribed to the channel. And get your notification bells turned on so that you don't miss anything here on the channel. Because we have got some really awesome things coming up. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this super long product review. But I was very happy to do it for you. This stuff is awesome. And uh, Rockville... I give you guys a thumbs up. I uh, was hesitant about this product, but uh, definitely wouldn't be hesitant, hesitant, I guess that's how you say it, <laughs> to go out and buy this product uh, again. So um, yeah, definitely go check it out, guys. Very awesome product review. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this as I enjoyed making it for you. Anyway, good night, guys, and we'll see you later.